first off, congratulations to your new position. And if you could give us a rundown of your professional and personal background. Sure. Uh, first of all, very excited. Um, this is a, a exciting new chapter of my life. Um, so kind of give you a little bit of background. I uh, am from the Dallas Fort Worth area in Texas. Um, grew up there, uh, played club ball there, um, then went on to uh, play a year at the University of Louisiana Lafayette um, and then decided to transfer to West Texas A&M um, and I, I finished my career and graduated with my bachelor's from there. Um, at that point decided to uh, get into coaching and went to the graduate assistant route and was a GA at Concord University um, in Athens, West Virginia for two years. And from there, I got uh, an assistant coaching position at uh, Missouri Southern State University in Joplin, Missouri. And from there, got my current position um, where, I'm, where I'm coming from at Shriner University, which is a Division Three, and I have been the head coach there for uh, five seasons. Um, and now coming to beautiful, wise Virginia. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. So, Coach, what impressed you about UVA Wise and what made you want to take this position? Uh, first and foremost, you know, looking for jobs, um, I was looking solely at Division II. Um, I have coached Division II and played in Division II, and uh, I believe that's, that's where my, my heart is. I think that's where I fit best as a coach. Uh, I like the level of athlete in competition and still feeling like we're able to help um, mold them into people uh, as well as players. Um, and then, you know, on my on-campus interview, uh, was just really impressed with the people. Um, I think, you know, when you go on a face-to-face -face interview, that's kind of the, the goal on both sides of the interview is to make sure that it's the right fit. Um, and I was pleasantly surprised with just how much I felt like it was the right fit. Um, I think our values align. I think we have similar personalities and goals and um you know it's it's nice to to go somewhere where you feel wanted <laughs> you know i think uh it was really exciting to see how excited they were about me as well um and so all of that you know the the fit the division um even meeting some of the girls uh was really exciting cuz not one red flag popped up it all just seemed like this was the path that i'm supposed to take and so i'm just very excited what can we look forward to seeing with you as head coach and what steps will you take to improve this program to make it the best that it can be? You know, for me as a coach, we get asked all the time about our philosophy and, and those types of things, which is sometimes hard to, hard to answer. It's kind of a, a broad question, but um, for me, it's all about culture. That's where it starts. Um, I <clears throat> firmly believe if you don't have a good culture, um, you're not going to have success. So for me coming in, it's going to be a lot of um, talking to the girls, building those relationships, um, getting them to trust me um, and letting them understand that, you know, I'm coming from a place of not just I want to be your coach uh, on the court. I want to be your mentor. I want to help you grow into the person you want to be. Um, so it starts with culture. And, you know, we talk about our values a lot. <clears throat> um, you know, we've used the acronym or I've used the acronym CHART. It's communication, hard work, um, accountability, respect, and trust. And I think that's kind of what I build my culture around. Um, and so a lot of meetings like that, which sounds kind of boring, but a lot of fun stuff too. You know, we hang out with each other a lot, so we got to enjoy each other's company. Um, so yeah, that's kind of where, where it starts. And I think once we get to that point where uh, we have a solid foundation, I think the success will follow from there. And then on that same note, uh, what are some of the expectations you have for your athletes in your program? Great question. Um, for me, it's a lot about kind of the same things, just, you know, values, like communication's a big deal to me. Um, I think that's kind of where it starts. You can't really build trust or respect um, for someone if you don't talk to them. Um, so communication is a big deal and I'm going to make sure that, that they understand that. Um, I always try to be as clear as I can about, uh, my expectations to them. So they're not confused or frustrated. Um, but yeah, a lot about, 
communicating and building that trust and relationship and respect. Um, and I think, uh, you know, hard work, obviously, as a Division II athlete, I'm going to expect that. Um, and I, I'm going to hold them to a high standard. And I, I think that they should want that from their coach. Um, and some of them might get frustrated, but, uh, you know, I think uh, they're going to see results from that. And so um, I have high standards, but I'm also, uh, I, I like my relationships with the girls and I want them to enjoy talking to me and working with me. And um, so, yeah. Coach, once again, thank you so much for your time. And congratulations once again to Alyssa Hanley, new head volleyball coach at UVA Wise. I look forward to talking with you soon and for the 2022 season. Thank you.